And I'll talk about Reiki and Tantra, uh, what I perceive as the differences, what is, you know, unique about what um, Reiki, I think one of the problems with Reiki is it's too accessible, like everybody has access to Reiki. With Tantra, you got to know somebody, you got to hear about it, you got to like, you got to kind of find it, you know what I'm saying? You got to kind of go on a journey. It's not going to be easy. Like, when I first saw like the energy healing aspect of Tantra, it took like five years of searching before I found my teacher. You know what I'm saying? When a student is ready, the teacher appears type shit. With Reiki, it's so accessible, man. Like, people, people... You really don't have to find it. This is why it's one of the most popular modalities. Is because anybody anywhere could just go and find a Reiki course, and it's gonna be like a hundred and fifty dollars compared to like potentially thousands with tantra. Reiki is gonna be like done in a weekend. You know, there's even people teaching like master courses in a weekend, and how you a master in a weekend. That's one of the things I don't like about Reiki. Like. They just let anybody in. And I'm a Reiki master. I've been a Reiki master for going on six years. But it's like it let anybody in the game. You know what I'm saying? Like there's no, there's no like qualifications. You feel me? Like, which could be good. Don't get me wrong. It could be good. Like it's easily accessible to everybody. And people that have a desire to help or desire to do some kind of healing energy the uh, initiations and attunements are very affordable, very accessible. But I think this very very affordable, very accessible kind of waters the game down because it's like, I remember this. I saw somebody, I know a student of a student of a student. She like, <laughs> she like third generation type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a guy here in Nashville and I saw his student graduate and then his student graduated and she attuned somebody else within like 30 days. And then this lady was a, a, a master teacher and trying to teach her classes all of a sudden. And I mean, you know, anybody can do what they want to do. But to me, that's watered down. Like, like how you a master in 30 days, like. I feel like the journey should be longer than that. And some of us been healing in multiple lifetimes and we just need that Reiki attunement to, to you know what I'm saying, activate it in this lifetime and then you tap into some other stuff. But it's just weird to me that like people want to be a master in a weekend and people that teach that is weird to me. I feel like they just chasing a bag. It ain't no respect for the game. And you know, you know, another thing, anytime I'm doing like a demonstration online, or I see other people doing demonstrations, everybody automatically assumes it's Reiki. And that's just because it's the most popular modality right now. And like I said, it's most popular because it's easily accessible. You feel me? Like you don't have to do nothing. Reiki and Tantra. Reiki is, um they call it the universal life force. And Tantra is more like taking the sexual energy and purposing it and repurposing it. But it's all really one energy. Like... It's really just one energy. And then we categorize it and give it definition. And, you know, energy follows thought. So, you know, you got Reiki, Universal Life Force. You got Tantra. And um, Reiki is a Japanese term. And so it's a Japanese system. The, the symbols are Japanese. The initiations and attunements are Japanese. You know what I'm saying? Tantra the term Tantra is Indian in nature, uh, Vedic, you know, I guess East Indian in nature. Uh, but it's a lot of different systems that had uh, what we would call Tantra. You know what I'm saying? This ability to awaken dormant faculties in the, in, in the, in the person, um, utilizing and repurposing sexual energy for different different goals. Uh, using sexual energy, transmuting it for the purposes of spiritual growth, for pleasure, for healing, for manifestation. So the, these concepts in this system, there's a system in Mexico. In North America, there's a system. 
uh, Thailand has a system. Indonesia has a system. Uh, Cambodia has a system. Like, I'm familiar with all of these. Uh, Africa, don't forget about Africa. Uh, East and Western Africa both have uh, these indigenous sexual practices or the, you know, and this repurposing of sexual energy and doing something with it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of, a lot of systems have this concept. And so we call it Tantra. Um, but you know, it's, there's many different names for this, like this concept and this, in this process. And then Reiki, Reiki is a specific system. You know, a lot of people see energy healing online and automatically assume it's Reiki. But it's not, you know what I'm saying? You got pranic healing, you got holotropic breathing, you got uh, medical qigong. Um, it's so many different systems, you know what I'm saying? You got acupressure, you got craniosacral therapy. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of things, but because Reiki is so popular and so easily accessible, most people just assume it's Reiki. And I have yet to post a Reiki video because we would all be asleep. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh, you, <laughs> Reiki will make you sleepy though. You know what I'm saying? Like, Reiki is a sleepy. It's very like calming though. Like, there's a benefit to being calm. Like, you don't have to be turned up all the time. Uh, so Reiki is calming. Reiki is uh boring. Meditative. I ain't gonna call it boring no more. It's meditative. But you know, a lot of people. Even myself, man, I will get up off the table uh, receiving some Reiki and just feel like nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like nothing's changed. Whereas when I got off the Tantra table the first time, it's like, whoa. You feel me? Like head, you know what I'm saying? Spinning and, you know, not even just the arousal, but like having ancestors come visit or having a deity come see you. You know what I'm saying? All of this different stuff be going on with, during the Tantra session. Not to say that they can't have an Reiki, it's just, it tends to be more boring. It tends to be more like chill, more laid back, more passive. And Tantra is more active. As a practitioner, it's more active. As a, a client on the table, it's more active. Because the client on the table is going to have to, you know, do some stuff. Yeah. Overall, they both good. You know what I'm saying? They both going to help you work through things. It's just a process of, do you want it to be intense or do you want it to be a little more gentle? You know what I'm saying? And then as learning, learning requires a bigger, Reiki is more easily accessible. I was actually doing Tantra before I did Reiki. You know what I'm saying? And that might be why I feel a certain type of way about Reiki. Like I was doing Tantra. It took me five years to find my teacher. And then I was doing it and it was so detailed and the processes and procedures and the learning, it was just so detailed, so many, you know what I'm saying? It, it was so much to learn. And then I did Reiki in like a day. I did Reiki one in a day. And I did Reiki one after Tantra because I was here in Nashville and I was looking for like energy people and I couldn't find no energy people. So like I couldn't find no Tantra people. And so I was like, well, let me find some kind of energy people. And then I uh I was I had booked a Reiki session and then the girl canceled at the last minute. And then I did uh I just found a class like a session got canceled and then I found a class and then you know that's how I got like tuned in to the Reiki people or the energy people. But I always been taught you. <sighs> yeah, so so uh, both Reiki and Tantra are lineage-based. Uh, you know, like I said, Reiki is a Japanese system. The symbols are Japanese. And don't get me wrong, like a lot of a lot of people, a lot of cultures have a energy healing modality, a spiritual healing modality, but they're not all Reiki. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the particular Reiki system was founded by a guy named uh, Yusei or Yusei. There's this guy named uh, Yusei, Yusei or something like that. And uh, so one of my teachers said that, you know, he was communing with plant spirits, uh, like the mushrooms, and they taught him this system of Yusei Reiki or Yusei Reiki. 
uh, and then, so his lineage, he taught somebody that taught somebody and then that person came, brought it to America, I think originally in Hawaii. And then it just started branching out from there. And so you get a lineage, you get a lineage with Reiki. With Tantra, there's also lineages, you know what I'm saying? So I know there's a Tibetan lineage here, um, Debbie Ward with Authentic authentic Tantra. She is, her lineage is Tibetan. And I like lineages. Uh, one of my lineages goes back to Sai Baba and then Osho. And then my teacher, and you know, me. Uh, and Sai Baba has, you know, where he got it from. Then you have my other teacher who basically uh, got it from the spirit world and he contacted uh, like ancient ancestors who had these different systems in different areas. Um, and then they kind of unfold and unravel the process. You know, like you could interview an ancestor and get the um, information. Like, what should I do about this? What should I do about that? Um, Egypt or Kemet. All of Egypt is not Kemet. And a lot of people get that confused. So Egypt and Kemet are not necessarily synonymous. Like uh, Kemet is a part of Egypt, but Kemet was not all of Egypt. That's a sidebar. You know what I'm saying? I might do some on history later, but yeah, all of this is lineage based. A lot of uh, one of my systems is Kemetic in nature. Uh, a lot of the mantras are Kemetic coming from like the Osir Aset Society uh Ra Unefer Amen. But it's like it's a lot of different elements to it. When I I be meeting somebody who does Tantra, whatever doing Tantra is, you know what I'm saying? I like to ask their lineage, like where you come from, what set you claiming type shit. You know what I'm saying? Uh also when you're talking about Tantra, you gotta talk to people and ask, like what do they mean by that? You know what I'm saying? It's like everybody has a different interpretation of what Tantra is and what Tantra means now. So when somebody's talking about Tantra, I like to say, like, what kind of Tantra are you talking about? Typically, when I'm talking on the page, I'm talking about energy healing aspect of Tantra, Tantric energy healing, uh, Kundalini energy healing, that type of thing. Everybody got a different interpretation and a different, you know what I'm saying, understanding of Tantra. Like, I've met some people who use Tantra as code word for jacking people off <laughs> like hand jobs and shit you know what i'm saying like it ain't nothing it ain't nothing like spiritual about it it ain't nothing that they're transmuting ain't nothing they transforming they just use it as a code word for like sex you know what i'm saying selling sex oh yeah i do tantra really i just do hand jobs is what they really saying you know what i'm saying so i'm basically repeating the same thing and saying the same thing over and over but reiki and tantra just the difference between reiki and tantra and yeah that's it man